So this section is designed to highlight some of the areas I see golfers struggling with, uh, with contact, uh, with direction control when hitting this short shot around the green. Now for me, uh, I did mention in the earlier videos, I feel like if you get your setup in place, you can learn to move your body correctly, you can get the grip in the right order, a lot of these things will fall into place, but sometimes we just have patterns that are very hard to break. So I've set up a couple of different things here, which I feel like are going to help us to kind of guide the club in position and also a couple of basic drills that I like to see um, or that you can certainly do if you feel like some of these issues relate to you. So the most simple one, the one I like to use a lot is, is to create a pathway for the club. Now, even though we've got this very slight arc along the ground here, if we get into a, let's say the setup position that should essentially move the club in the right area and we also tilt the shoulders we could still have some independent movement of the club where it kind of rolls and crashes into the shaft so what i've set up here is a little guideline or a gateway that can allow us to swing the club through just to get a sense of the path of the club now often if a student is struggling maybe the club's rolling a little too much and they're taking out this this bottom stick they will need to feel the opposite of that. So that could be the right hand turning down as if I was uh, turning my hand in an anti-clockwise direction. That actually gets the, the face more down and closed looking, helps me get through the gate. The opposite could apply. I may have someone who kind of picks a club up too much with their wrist. They might actually feel like they need to open up the palm a little bit. So this can be a multi-purpose drill just because we've got the guideline there. It's very easy to, to set up a camera and see exactly what you're doing. And with a little bit of guidance, we can start to get a sense of the club moving through the gate quite easily uh, and start to hit some shots. And again, if for whatever reason we hit the gate, we've got a reference. I don't even mind initially if you were doing this. You could just have a little glimpse of the club just so we've got that club moving nicely through. So that's one little idea. The other one I like is uh, this ball I've got, which we can wedge between our elbows. And how this looks is something like this. Now, often, again, we could have ourselves set up correctly in position. And for whatever reason, we start to kind of bend our elbows too much. Perhaps we haven't learned to use our, our chest correctly. So what this ball does if you like, it sinks up the arms and chest, and it's very hard. I certainly can't break my arms because the ball will drop. So it's very hard to independently use our, our arms, and it starts to sink up, if you like, our chest and arms together. Now, the other benefit I like of the ball here, it has this seam, orange and blue, and we can keep the seam pretty much facing towards the camera. So if I tend to roll too much you can see the seam faces the sky uh, if i tilt my shoulders correctly really the seam doesn't change at all that's obviously changing it the more common one i see is the rolling so but if we learn to tilt our shoulders correctly we can keep the seam up and as we go through the seam up and again we can learn to hit shots this way great little tool for keeping things uh, in the right order And again, as long as that seam stays up, it's, it's quite challenging for me to not get through the gate. So it can be a, a good little guideline. Keeps things a lot quieter from a wrist forearm standpoint. Keep, keeps things a lot more passive. With regards to elevating the club, if you still find that you're doing a pretty good job uh, with the setup, you feel like you are got the right amount of tilt going back, but for whatever reason you're hitting the ground too far behind the ball. Uh, placing something behind the ball like this little ramp I've got here is a, a great tool. What it'll allow me to do, even though I'm tilting my shoulders, I could still drag the club back too low because my wrists are too stiff or I'm, I haven't got enough play in them. And what it'll allow me to do is just very slightly elevate the club. In fact, if I use no body motion and no arm action, I just kind of use my wrist, you can see I can still elevate the club there. So that could be a good little feel that we have. 
but if I have the slight tilt and elevate, I can pop it up over the back of that ramp pretty easily. And you can see that ball's coming out a little bit lower. Often that'll happen because we have a little steeper angle, the hands are still leading, so I'm de-lofting the club quite a bit. So those are a couple of uh, great ways to practice. If you're having a little bit of a hard time with the direction of the club, maybe even contact a little bit, uh, you can work on those.